right, so we've seen some people diving into the Charles River in Boston just to get some relief during this heat wave. I know some of you at home right now are shaking your head. No, no, no. Now, the river is known for historically it's dirty water, but David told me times have changed. That's where the song came from, right? Dirty water. In tonight's question, everything we wanted to know, how clean is the Charles River these days? And would you dive in? WBZ's Laura Hayfley went out into the heat to get some answers. During a heat wave in June, neighbors are desperate for relief. Even jumping into the Charles River isn't totally out of the question. They're just trying to have fun. 14 year old East Boston neighbor So Hybe has experience using the harbor to cool off. People like just jumping off, and then there's like a little ladder. Others head to Boston beaches, but this year some have closed due to high levels of bacteria or packed parking lots, leaving neighbors with limited options. We had about 100 boats go out yesterday, so lots of people enjoying the nice weather. Evelyn Pickard spends her summers working at Paddle Boston, a kayaking company along the river. When you're up on land, you have the sun reflecting back on you off the pavement. On the river, it's more open. There's nothing blocking the wind from blowing on you. It can be a little cooler. I had to test that out for myself. I can confirm it is really hot, but if you're in or on top of water, it's certainly a lot cooler. But how safe is it to spend time around Boston's bodies of water? It's been getting cleaner. EPA environmental engineer Tom Faber says state agencies have invested millions to remove sewage from waterways, causing most of the pollution. Prior to 1988, 1.7 billion gallons per year of bacteria filled discharge was released into the Charles River, down to 20 20 million gallons in 2014. Faber says it's only getting safer. How comfortable is the EPA saying the Charles River is a good place to spend some time when you're in the heat? Oh, definitely a good time. Despite it being one of the cleanest urban rivers in the country, neighbors in Boston still have some questions about how clean the Charles really is. I did do a project in the third grade and we tested the water and it was not, it's not sanitary at all. Cambridge native Avian is set in her ways. The water isn't for her. I feel like if I'm going into water, I need to be able to see my feet. Every year, the Charles River Conservancy hosts a city splash, allowing public swimming in the Charles, usually prohibited. This year, the event is July 13th. In Boston, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News. All right, so what do you think? Not for you? Boston, I love you, but no. Give me a rooftop, give me a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Rooftop pool, that's some fancy stuff. This is me, by the way. I want to pop up a couple pictures here because me and my kids go in the Charles River all the time. My wife, my daughter, my boys, we live very close to it. We jump in all the time. Of course, you have to have a life jacket. But yeah, we are in there all the time, first. and it's really, really great. On super, super hot days or after a major rainstorm, they say it's sometimes maybe not as clean, but I always find it to be great, to be perfectly honest with you. Well, I mean, so, you seem just fine. Yeah, I don't know happy. about that, but anything that's wrong with me has nothing to do with the Charles. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> if you have a question you want answered, let us know. Send an email to questioneverything at cbsboston.com.